Hello everyone. Welcome to English Listening and Speaking class. My name is Anjar Suari Erintias and you can call me Miss Anjar. All right. So, today's lesson is about offers and suggestions. So, we're going to look at the expressions how to make offers or how to make suggestions. So, let's have a look at the concept itself. So, suggest means to give a suggestion that is to introduce or propose an idea or a plan for someone's consideration so suggestions are abstract and can be in, in form of solutions advice plan an idea it can be accepted or refused so the social function what 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 is it for so suggestion is to facilitate interpersonal communication between different people now let's move on to the next slide so here are you got to see some examples of suggestions so you may say for example let's finish our homework first so you got let's in bold right so let's is one of the expression that you can use when you want to make suggestions or you may say why don't you okay in example two why don't you do your homework before going out and then move on to example three example three I think you should study harder I think you should in bold is also one of the expression that you may use when you want to make suggestion okay so here we have let's why don't you or I think you should so those are some common expressions that you can use when you want to make suggestions all right okay let's move on now we have um, some other expressions that you can use when you want to make suggestions for example okay let's why don't we why don't we study or why don't we watch movies or we could for example oh we could watch a movie after doing homework for example or what about what about watching movies or what about um having a discussion you may if if you want to suggest for example um going out to a movie you may say how about cinemas or how about watching movies so for what about should be followed by uh, jaren like verb one plus ink okay we 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 are going to look at the structure later okay and then we have how about and so i suggest that you may also use this phrase i say i think or i don't i don't think okay so these are the expressions and you should also pay attention to the structure because those expressions may use different um, structures i mean in this table you may see that yeah we have subject for example um the person who give the advice for example we or i and then followed by verbs so these verbs that you may use when you want to make a suggestion you may you may say suggest or you may say recommend or you may say propose i propose blah 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 or put forward i put forward blah 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 or we advise blah 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 or i think uh, sorry i advocate blah 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 so these verbs are commonly used when you want to make a uh, suggestion or you want to suggest something okay and followed by that okay that i suggest that so it should be um, in the form of sentence for example i suggest that he clean his room okay so pay attention the object is in the form of sentence so we have subject there we have verb and object okay he clean his room okay if you have so if you look carefully um into the sentence he clean his room clean without s it's supposed to be i mean in in present simple present tense we we should 
right, or we we should say he cleans his room, right? But in this case, um, since you since you use suggest, the word for suggesting in this case is suggest, so you may not or you should not add as there. Okay, so this is the you, the things that you should pay attention when you want to use suggest. I mean. Um, these words like recommend, advise, okay, advocate. Like for example, here we have we advise that he work hard. We don't say he works hard because we have the word advice in the, as a verb, right? Before that, so pay attention to that. So we don't say he works, but all the all the subject goes with verb one okay so please pay attention to that okay now let's have a look at how to accept and how to decline the suggestions okay you may accept you may but well, if you agree with that suggestion okay i think we should do it then you may accept but if you think that you're not into it i think it's not a good idea so you may decline the suggestion so these are the expressions that you can use when you uh, want to respond to suggestions for example someone says that or your friend says oh let's go to the movies and you think like oh yeah you like it i think you you i think you i think the suggestion is a good idea and you may say oh yes let's go but if you don't think that's a good idea so you should say no thank you i don't feel like going because you had something to do and yeah you may decline that suggestions okay and for example the other the other examples here why don't you do your homework before going out okay you may say okay i will to accept the suggestion or you should say sorry if you want to refuse or decline the suggestion or you can, you can say sorry i think i will go out first and then do my homework okay so yeah it's, it's up to you and then how about going to sam's place first and then go to the supermarket if you if you are good with that if you are if you think that it's a good idea so you may accept this suggestion and say yes let's go it's a good idea but if you think that's not a good idea so you may refuse that by saying no let's just go to the supermarket okay the last example here we have i think you should go and meet her so we use i think right when you make the suggestion so when you think that is a good idea and you want to accept the suggestion okay you, you can respond by saying if you say so okay and then you may also decline sorry i can't i have previous engagement you have another appointment all right so here are four suggestion okay now let's move on to offering Offering means to give something physical or abstract to someone, which can be taken as a gift or a trait. So offer can be in terms of food, money, solutions, friendship, or a bargain. It can be taken or refused. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the social function is the same with the uh, suggestion. It's also to facilitate interpersonal communication between two people okay so here are we have the examples of offers so we have some expressions here in some sentences may i give you a hand may i you may use these expressions or you may say can i help you yeah the meaning is the same but you may use different expressions or the other example would you like another piece of cake if you want to offer cake to someone would you like you can say that phrase would you like followed by object the thing that you want to offer okay and then you may say how about how about I help you with this okay how about followed by sentence different from what about what about followed by um, an object like how about 
how about I help you with this? Okay, how about followed by sentence different from what about what about followed by um, an object like so, I mean in Grammarly it should be followed by a verb ing verb one plus ing what about followed by sentences in this case how 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 about I help you with this okay or another um, example I will do the washing if you like okay I will blah 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 if you like Okay, that's an offer, right? If you like, I will do blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's the example. And let's have a look at the other expressions that you can use when you want to make offers, yeah? Okay, you can say may I, can I, shall I, or would you, or how about I, yeah? That's the expressions. Now, let's have a look at the structure. Okay, so normally we use motor verbs. We have would, shall, could, or will here, and followed by subject because this is an a question. So, for example, so you you offer something to someone, right? So it's in the form of integrated sentence or in a question. So would you say can I cup of tea? Like would you like a cup of tea or would you like a, another piece of cake? Like we. Like we just saw in the previous slides or you may say shall we take you there okay shall we model verb subject and then followed by object the object should be followed by verb one yeah, take we have care and then could could I offer you something offer offer is so also verb one okay so it should be followed by verb one so model verb subject and the object we have verb one okay will you have a tea with that that's an offer you want to offer someone um, to have a tea while they have something okay so let's have a look at the responses how are your response to offers so you may refuse or you may accept it right for example if someone want to offer a hand then they, they may say can I help you and you may accept for example you need you, you need somebody's help so you may say yes please I really appreciate it or you may decline by saying it's okay I can do it myself if you think you don't need any anybody's help so you may say you may you may decline the offer or the other expressions here, shall I bring you some tea? And if you think that's a good offer, you may accept by saying, thank you, it's very kind of you. Or you may decline by saying, no, thank you, if you think you have enough tea or you don't want to have tea. And then another ex expression here, would you like another helping of cake? So someone's offering you a cake and you may if you like it and you can say or you may say yes please that would be lovely or if you, if you think that's not a good idea it's not a good offer you don't, don't want to have another cake so just say no thanks I don't want another helping or I, I don't want yeah another helping of cake or like another cake yeah you may say no thanks simply like that is also um, enough that will do to decline somebody's offer and then there's another example here how about I help you with this you may say yes please that would be very kind of you if you want to accept the offer but if you want to decline you may say don't worry I will do it myself okay the last one can I take you home if someone's over you are right to go home to go back to your home and if you think that's a good offer then you may say thank you i appreciate your help or if you think that's not a good offer i think you can you can go home by yourself then you may say that's all right i will manage my own i will manage on my own so those are the expressions that you may use when you want to respond or you want to make offers all right so do you have any questions if you don't have any question then you may proceed to the practice here 
So let's get to the exercise to make sure whether you have understood the material about expressions of making, suggestions, and offers.